Good morning. Uh, my name is Robert Dijkroff. I'm the director and Leon Levy professor here at the Institute for Advanced Study, and it's a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this memorial conference in honor of our dear friend and colleague, Vladimir Wojewski. He was professor here in the School of Mathematics from 2002 to 2017. Now, I think we all remember today the shocking news, what we heard almost a year ago. And uh, I think quite a few of us had also the, uh, the honor to attend the memorial service that we had here at the Institute a year ago, where many of us kind of spoke and celebrated Vladimir's life. Uh, this week, we will celebrate with profound and tender appreciation his mathematical legacy. Uh, a, really a legacy of true visionary quality. It's uh, wonderful to see you all here, and I must say it's a particular great pleasure to welcome uh, Nadia and, uh, and Dina here, his, uh, his best friend and former wife, and one of the two daughters, and the other daughter, Tali, will actually be here on, uh, on Friday for the dinner. Um, I, uh, it's for me also kind of a pleasure to welcome and thank the Scientific Organizing Committee, Dan Grayson, Chuck Weibel, Cherry Cocan, and Mark Levine, who have planned such a remarkable and diverse program of talks. I also want to acknowledge the generosity of Eric and Wendy Schmidt, who through the Schwab Charitable Fund made actually this conference possible. Now, you all agree that Vladimir was a truly exceptional and, ordinary, and extraordinary mathematician making very many remarkable contributions that we will learn about. He was born in Moscow on June the 4th, 1966. And as we learned last year, in some sense, his path to mathematics started with explosions. He started doing chemistry experiments, then learned that to understand chemistry, you have to understand physics. To understand physics, you have to understand mathematics. And then finally, I guess, to understand mathematics, you have to understand logic. Uh, so it's a very clear, clear line. He, uh, after spending time as a visiting scholar at Harvard, and, uh, no, getting his PhD at Harvard, he, uh, under his advisor, David Kasdan, he became a member here at the Institute in 92, 93, and then returned as a long-term member in 98, after spending time as a visiting scholar at Harvard University in the Max Planck Institute in Bonn, and serving as an associate professor at Northwestern. In 1999, 2000, Vladimir gave a series of 20 lectures here at the Institute covering the foundations of the theory of motivic cohomology. Now, his contributions in developing this theory and new cohomology theories for algebraic varieties have provided insights into number theory and algebraic geometry and have earned him, of course, the Fields Medal in 2002. He was then 36 and had been appointed professor in the School of Mathematics here earlier that year. Now, uh, we'll learn more about his work, but I want to say that you know, one characteristic of his work and an anecdote that really stayed with me when we had the celebration last year was a conversation that Avi Bikleson explained he had with uh, Vladimir, where they talked about the, whether you like long proofs or short proofs. And uh, clearly Avi said, you know, short proofs are much nicer, that's what we all aim to, and then no, Vladimir, like long proofs, and it was a long debate, and then finally Vladimir said, what do you like, short walks or long walks in the woods? And, um, and that actually made the point. And in some sense, I think what we will be celebrating this week is the uh, extraordinary long walk in the woods of mathematics that Vladimir took. Uh, in some sense, determining that you really have to restructure and rewrite the foundations of mathematics to make use, full use of computers. And I think that actually truly is a visionary that looks ahead many, many centuries. So I'm very proud that not only he was able to do this research here, but also that the Institute and the School of Mathematics really contributed to making this program a success. In 2012, 2013, Vladimir organized a special year here at the school, focused on the univalent foundations of mathematics, resulted in uh, a group of two dozen mathematicians actually writing a 600-page book in less than six months. So that set a record, I think, in many ways. If only not, that there in some sense is not really an author to the book. It's really collective uh, production. So I think Vladimir truly uh, epitomized the type of researcher whose work reached new and unforeseen heights 
that, in some sense, the Institute is proud to uh, host and support. I think his contributions to mathematics will continue uh, over many, many years. And I'm very happy to see that uh, this last year, so many of you worked to actually kind of continue that legacy. Uh, now, I'm very pleased to welcome the first speaker of this uh, program, which is Daniel Grayson, Professor Emeritus at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and former visitor at the Institute, frequent visitor at the Institute. He will speak about Vladimir's mathematical work. Daniel has been quite crucial, uh, also in the last year, to uh, secure the mathematical legacy of uh, Vologia's work. And actually, you also wrote an absolutely stunning and beautiful and very touching obituary for nature. So I'm very happy that you're here, that you're uh, part of the organizing committee, and that you uh, share your, your view on this mathematical legacy here for us. Thank you.